All right, so I'm going to show how to connect um, to stream from your phone to this Google Chromecast without um, an actual Wi-Fi. Um, you will need a Wi-Fi hotspot from your phone, but you won't need to connect to like a router or something. Okay, so first what you want to do, if you've already set up this Chromecast before to a Wi-Fi, you'll want to um, press and hold this button. So there's this light on here. Just make sure when you press and hold it, You'll see it blinks orange. Just keep holding the button. It'll flash like this and then it'll go um, solid white. That's how you know it's reset. Once it's reset, then you'll want to plug this into your TV or monitor that uses HDMI. Okay, so just plug that in. All right, just like that. Make sure it's plugged in. So you'll see right now it should show that it's going to be setting up. Okay, here you go, it showed Chromecast. Okay. All right, so it's showing Chromecast set up. So normally what I do is I use this um, share thing um, and then it will find Chromecast, oops. So, but here it says to turn off mobile hotspot. I don't wanna do that. Um, but that one it will set up uh, for if you already have it connected to a Wi-Fi, but I don't want to do that. So what you're going to want to do is you want to get the um, this Google Home app, okay? So this has other random stuff that I've used, but as you can see, there's no Chromecast or anything here. Um, so what you want is the Chromecast. So you'll wait for this one, okay? Um, one thing I'll show here. So as you can see, I have the um, this hotspot thing. So you see computer services, it has the phone number thingy there. So that's what I'll set up as the hotspot. Okay, so here you have the Chromecast thing. It tells you to get the app and then go to this thing to set it up. Um, so yes, we will use that app that it says, but we won't do it um, completely the way they say. So once again, open up the Chromecast home app or the Google Home app, okay? Once you do that, you'll want to do the plus button, set up device, all right? Set up a new device in your home, okay? So you can, you can change a different location if you want, but I'm just leaving it as the same. Click next, um, it tells you to turn on Wi-Fi, so just say okay, um, turn on your Wi-Fi. Okay, so you want the Wi-Fi on for the initial setup just to trick it into thinking that you're going to connect it to the Chromecast. Okay, then you want to go back to Google Home. Okay, let's see, it's looking for devices. It should find the Chromecast. Let me see. Okay, there we go. So it says it found the Chromecast, 5508. So as you can see, Chromecast, sorry, it's blurry, 5508. So yes, that's the correct device. So as you can see, I mean, right now it's connected to my Wi-Fi, but it doesn't need that. So um, you just have to have Wi-Fi on so it can find the Chromecast device. So here it says connecting to Chromecast. Okay, it might disconnect from Wi-Fi because yeah, it's connecting to the Chromecast. Here it says the code W2K8. Yes, W2K8. So you click yes. Oops, you didn't see that, but you say yes. And then it says additional legal terms. Yes, you have to click agree. All right, help improve Chromecast. You can say no if you want, but I'll, I'll just say yes. All right, then you pick if you have rooms that you created, you want to say where it is. So I'm just going to say it's in my office. So it says, which Wi-Fi do you want to connect? As you can see, it doesn't show your hotspot um, connection here. So as you saw earlier, my hotspot is on, but it's not connected. So what you want to do is say, oops, you want to enter, man, oops, what happened here? Remember the password for Wi-Fi? Okay, that's not what I want. So how do I go back here? Let's uh, enter manually. That's not what we want either. Okay, let's exit this. I screwed it up, sorry. So since I messed that up, we're gonna have to go back. I'm swiping up the back thing. So normally you have the back button there, but I'm just swiping up. So anyways, when I click next, it automatically picked that one. I didn't want that. So what you do is you say other Wi-Fi network. 
network name. You type in the name of your um, of your Wi-Fi that you have of your hotspot. So it was computer services. Okay, and then it had the. Oops, let's see, four zero eight. So we got that. T E Q dash E I N H. So here you got that computer services. Okay, oops, that's not the one. Sorry. 837-2464. Okay, so there you go. Enter in the thing. The security, most likely it's going to be WPA2. If that doesn't work, you can try WPA or WEP. Um, but most likely if you have a newer phone, it's going to be using WPA2. All right, then you want to type in the password. 408-TEQ- B I N H. Make sure the password you entered is right. Okay, click connect. Here you can see it's connecting to Wi Fi. Okay, so the Chromecast shows that it's also connecting. Connecting to computer services. Sorry, the flash is glaring on it. All right, so there you can see it's connecting. It says it's almost done. Fishing, uh, finishing, and then it says to set up uh, in your home thing. Okay, so here it's saying that um, you have to connect to the same Wi-Fi to use this. I'm going to just say no, leave the setup. So now when you go in the Google Home, you see it has this office TV thing, or because I set it up as it's in the office. So now that it has Wi-Fi, I can click this. You can adjust the volume here. Let's see what other settings you got. So you can change where it's at, you can put it in a different group, you can change the Wi-Fi you can, to something else. Um, I'm not sure what the guest mode is. Okay, so let anyone in the same room connect to your Chromecast without being on your Wi-Fi network. So you can also enable this, it looks like. It uses a combination of your Chromecast location and Wi-Fi to identify nearby. Hmm. So maybe I'll enter that one, then I can do that easily. That might be easier. Okay, so we'll set up that guest mode so that way it doesn't have to use the Wi-Fi. Let's see if that will work. So we got that, groups, so guest pin 5515. I wonder if you can change the pin. I guess not. Okay, so I think the pin is always going to be the same. It says it's getting the device pin. Oh, no, it changes. Zero, 06. So I guess you can't manually change it. I don't know. Okay, um, language, preview program. I guess I'll just turn off the guest mode. Oops. Turn off the guest mode. All right, so let's see what else. You got the display. You can change for um, the frequency. Okay, I don't know if you care about these other settings. Um, but it looks like then you can do that, and then you can just cast to your screen. Um, I don't think you need any of those other buttons. So if I click cast to screen... Okay, it'll say that it'll let you do this. So just say yes, cast to the screen. And here you can see now it's casting my phone image to the screen. Um, it also does the rotation. Right now my screen is vertical. The reason I have it my screen horizontal or uh, portrait mode like that is because the thing is stupid when it's in camera mode. If you flip the camera, even though the camera flips, um, it doesn't think of it as the whole phone rotates. So... I guess the camera app doesn't act as like the whole phone flipping because if I flip the phone this way, as you can see, oops, it, it full screens that, okay? So yeah, so that's why I have it that way. I use this as a camera viewfinder so when I record my videos, it'll be easier to do. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I think you can keep the Wi-Fi off. Let's see. Yeah, so you can turn the Wi-Fi completely off as long as you have the mobile hotspot on. Let's see. Yep, it's still connected. So if I turn the mobile hotspot off, then I think it's going to die. So I turn the mobile hotspot off. As you can see, it's not controlling it anymore. So you do need to have your mobile hotspot staying on to use this. Um, but other than that, at least you don't need like to be tethered to a Wi-Fi hotspot. Um, you can just be tethered directly to your phone. Here it says connection lost. 
Okay, yeah, I turned the thing back on, so it should be reconnecting. Yep, there you go. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe so other people can find it. Share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.